Does your loved one still have rights? The answer is yes. They still have the right to receive the care and services needed to obtain their highest possible level of well-being. Uh, they still have the right to participate in developing and implementing a individual-centered plan of care that reflects per personal and cultural preferences. Uh, this includes the resident's right to make decisions about their care now uh, and in the future, such as what treatment they might want related to COVID-19. They have the right to be free from abuse and neglect, uh, exploitation and misappropriation of property, uh, they have the right to voice grievances without discrimination or retaliation or the fear of it and prompt efforts by the facility to resolve those grievances. Uh, they have the right not to be discharged or transferred except for certain reasons uh, to appeal any decisions and have a safe and orderly discharge or transfer if the resident needs to leave the facility. If you have any additional questions, you can still uh, reach uh, our attorneys at Levin and Perkani. We are staying safe and working largely remotely, but all of the calls to our main office can be routed to individual attorneys or staff members if you have questions, or you can email questions to questions at levinperconti.com. Again, that's questions at levinperconti.com. My name is Mike Bonamart. I appreciate your time. Please stay safe.